Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day 20 of 30 Days, 30 Bands, All Live Albums. I'm Davies Tallow, and today we're going to be getting out of the 1960s, where we've been, we've seemed been trapped for the last four days, which is really not a bad thing. But we're going to be getting to 1980s with a band that started out in 1980, formed by Joy DeMaio on bass, Eric Adams on vocals, Carl Candy, Candy on drums, and Ross the Boss Friedman on guitars. Of course, I'm talking about the great man of war. And as of late, the band has not been doing much. And which I just realized oddly, uh, the drummer that replaced Carl Candy before, uh, right before they did their first album, Donnie Hamzik, Played on their first album and their last album. After he came back after uh, Scott Columbus left and uh, passed away. So that's really funny. <laughs> and this, of course, like I said, as of late, they haven't do, done much. Their last album, released 10 years ago, Lord of Steel, since they, they've been doing re recordings of a lot of their albums. Um, they did Battle Hymns in 2010, King of Metal, Kings of Metal in 2014, Into Glory Ride, uh, Imperial Edition in 2019, and Hail to England, Imperial Edition in 2019. So they've just been doing re, uh, re-recordings. Uh, from what I understand, I may be wrong, they, uh, they decided to kind of retire from the road. Uh, let's see here. Well, they, they had, oh, they did a re uh, tour last year for celebrating their 40th anniversary, but uh, they didn't say they're going to do any uh, albums. Hmm. Of course, their last album I wasn't really too pleased with. It was just like they were rehashing things, and I don't know. So anyway, we're here to discuss live albums. Not studio discs. And the first live album, of course, is they've only done three. I find strange, you know, strange with this band being into live performances so big and stuff. You think that they'd, they'd be doing more, but the first one was Hell on Wheels, Man of War Live. Decent album. It's if I was to rank these albums, this would be the one I reach for the least. That's not because it's bad. It just A lot of the songs on here lack the power of later performances. Uh, it starts out with Man of War, which is great. I mean, it's not the best one I've heard live, but it's still decent. Uh, Kings of Metal follows it. Kill with Power. Uh, Sign of the Hammer. Uh, my spirit lives on from louder than hell. You know, it's kind of notice this album kind of starts off strong and then kind of goes. You know, it's kind of roller coastery to me. Uh, Courage is really great on here. The song Courage, Spirit of the Horse of the Cherokee. This is where you get it rising back up to the top again. Tail and kill the glory of the world. Starts to dip a little bit right there. Uh, disc two starts out with Wheels of Fire. Starts raising Metal Warriors. I'm not really impressed with. It's off of uh, the Triumph of Steel, which Triumph of Steel is a good album, but I'm just it's just not into it that much. I was when it first came out, but it's kind of 
sagged a little bit in my lately. Uh, Armies of Army of the Mortals is okay. Black Arrows, was never a big fan of that about song. Uh, Fighting the Worlds, good. Thor, you know, st right here we're starting to come back up. King's great. God's made heavy metals great. Black Wind. Right here with Black Wind and Fire and Steel. It's lacking in the vocal area. I know it's hard, you know, when you do these songs in the studio and uh, you add these, you know, all these vocals and stuff, it's kind of hard to reproduce, especially when you only got one vocalist and the others don't really sing. But uh, it's, it's okay. Return of the Roar Lords, okay. Carry on. Not pressed. I, I love the studio version. Uh, the live version, again, lacking in the vocal area. I mean, the, the guitars, the bass and drums, fantastic, but just lacking the vocal. Battle hymns, great. You know, so it, ends, it starts strong and ends strong, but there's too many ups and downs in the middle for me. So I, I rarely reach for this one, but all in all, there's, like I said, good uh, points on here. Uh, Man of War, uh, Spirit Horse, uh, Battle Hymns, you know. But it, I think they, it could have been a lot better. Let's see, I don't. Okay. All right, Eric. Mr. Eric Adams. Mr. Carl Logan. Mr. Scott Columbus. May you rest in peace. Mr. Joey DeMaio. The band. I believe that's yeah. So anyway, still worth it. Still worth a listen, you know, and should be an any any Man of War fans lib uh, lib music library. So you know, move right along to the next one. This was. So that the first one was uh, yeah released in November eighteenth, nineteen ninety seven. This one, this next one, released in April twentieth, nineteen ninety nine. We're talking about Hell on Stage. This one would be my number two of his rank these. A lot harder, a lot darker. The vocals. Are better on this one. Um, starts with Metal Days is really great. Then goes right into Dark Avenger. And when I say it's a lot, a lot darker theme, it seems like they uh, uh, go back to the more to the beginning, the like battle hymns and glory into glory ride and hailed England more here on this and the sign of the hammer. Uh, <clears throat> Dark Avenger, if you're familiar with that, you know, has Orson Welles uh, starting it out, which I find excellent. No, he, no, he, no, I, he does the beginning of another song. This, this one, he's, he's speaking in the middle of it. I'm sorry, I screwed up there. <laughs> he talks in the middle of it, does a little uh, narration in the middle of it, which is great. Uh, goes into March for Revenge of the Soldiers of Death, uh, which is good. Not one of my all-time favorites, but it's still great. Hatred and the Gory Ride. Not a big fan. However, I've got a bot into Glory Ride and Hail to England uh, in a box set uh, down when I was in, down in Australia back in '94. 
And I was going back to the hotel room and listening to it. And I was impressed with the first part of it, but when it got into the latter, like hatred stuff, I, I, it, I wasn't too impressed. I shut it off. I'm sorry, but hatred I, is one of those songs I just can't get into. Uh, Gates of Valhalla, great. Bridge of Death, another song that I can't get into from Hail to England. But here, it's decent, you know, sounds great on live. Uh, Williams Tell. Uh, a lot of people do not care for Joey's indulgent in his bass solos. I tend to agree. <laughs> um, you know, he, he, don't get me wrong, he's an excellent bass player. But I don't know. It's just. I just don't want to hear a bass, bass solo that long, you know. But so I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, this one sense uh, ends with Guyana, Call of the Damned from Sign of the Hammer, which is a haunting song about Jim Jones and his cult that when they moved down had their little soiree down there, and people died of, you know, horrible, horrible situation. Uh, this too starts with the Warrior's Prayer, and which I, I love, Kings of the Metal, and it goes into Blood of the Kings. Uh, I should have started the disc one off with that. You know, Metal Days is great, but Warrior's Prayer and Blood of the Kings should be a show opener in my book. Uh, they do a decent job there. Uh, I'd rank that version probably 90, uh, 9.5. Uh, Sting of the Bumblebee, more solo. <laughs> uh, Heart of Steel, do a fantastic job from on that. It's from Kings of Metal. Uh, Master of the Wind. Another song from Triumph of Steel. I love that song. It's just melodic and just takes you on this trip, you know, this in your mind, you know, you, it's just, you know, through the clouds and you're going to this valley and stuff. And it, and it has that song right there is, is inspired uh, future. Book that hopefully I'll get around to uh, writing called it's going to be called Heaven's Valley. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> then that goes into Outlaw, 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 Outlaw Ride from Ladder in Hell. Uh, then uh, automatic flows into the Power. Great one-two punch right there, and of course and. The whole thing lends with the uh, crown of the ring. So all in all, great album, a lot, a lot better. Uh, there's the guys in there. Enjoy drinking with somebody from the audience. Fans of Fateful, Joey and Eric right there. Carl and Joey jamming away. You gonna get an assist from somebody? <laughs> so, anyway. Great out. They definitely check it out. So, moving right along here. 
into their last live album released in July 6, 2007 as part of their uh, Gods of War tour which I'm talking about Gods of War Live so that's what that says right down here if you can't read it <laughs> because it's done in I guess I guess that's supposed to be runes so. <clears throat> open this baby up here your disc of course Buffett, real quick here. There's Eric, Scott, Joey. <laughs> All of course. You know, booklets have gone a long way since the early times of CDs. Got a lot more to them. I would have loved to have seen them on this tour, too. But, unfortunately, they didn't come to the U.S., I don't believe. My only gripe with Man of War, they hardly ever came over here to the U.S. So, anyway, this is just Chuck Poole of hard driving metal. Lot more, uh, be better perform performance, better recording. Starts out, of course, with Man of War. And goes with the call to arms. Uh, gloves of metal. Dark and doomy. Each dawn I die. Holy war. And it goes in the mountains, the haunting majestic mountains. The oath. Hard. Driving. One of my favorite songs off here. Uh, and son, son of William Tell. Williams Tell. You know, Joey doing this solo again, which leads right into God's Made Heavy Metal. I love this version of God's Made Heavy Metal. Just hard and heavy. I think it's a lot better than the uh, studio version. Um, Die for Metal. Uh, and Kings of Metal. Warriors of the World United. And Black Wind, Fire, and Steel. This version is a lot stronger than the uh, one off the uh, Hell on Wheels. Then the this two. This uh, now this is my only gripe with this album, is they only do part of Gods of War live. Uh, I would love to heard King of Kings live. That's my favorite song from Gods of War. But they don't do it uh, and. Oh, uh, uh, Blood Brothers. You know why they don't do the, do the first part? I have no idea. They start things out with the blood of Odin, the sons, and then goes into sons of Odin, glory, majesty, unity, uh, gods of war, which is I love, uh, army of the dead, part two, then goes Odin, uh, him of the immortal warriors which is hot, I, another favorite from the album. And then, of course, ends with The, uh, the Crown and the Ring. Uh, I don't know. I think the, the first part, 
the first half of Gods of War is stronger. The second part uh, has its moments like uh, Gods of War and Hymn to the uh, Mortal Warriors, but the rest of the time, it's just music and somebody talking, you know. But uh, all in all, it's still this one is the strongest out of all the three. And I would suggest, you know, definitely check the, you know, check this out. You know, solid, good, hard driving, heavy metal. But it just, you know, I just think it could have been just a little bit better if they would have done three discs and included the whole of uh, God's of War. Or just do the highlights, you know. But that's just me. But there you have it. God's of War. Hell on stage and Hell on wheels. Must haves for any solid Man of War, Man of War fan. Definitely check them out. You know, you're like I tell everybody, go on to YouTube or YouTube Music, scout these uh, bands out, and see if it's something that you are interested in, and then go from there. I mean, that way. You're not showing out money for something that later on you're going to say, well, I, I, I don't like this, you know. It's not like the back in, when I was a kid, if you didn't hear it on the radio, you had to take a chance and buy it or, you know, hope that somebody else that you knew had it on record or whatever so you could check it out to see if it's something you want. Now, you can go check it out on YouTube and YouTube Music and and go from there. I mean, hey, I've discovered a lot of bands that I didn't know existed on YouTube music. So it's definitely worth checking it out. But uh, anyway, there you have it. And uh, please subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Like the video and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. This weekend, I'm going to try to do a ranking of the albums. I don't know who I'm going to do yet. Between work and doing this and trying to find time to write and, you know, spending time with family and stuff, I think it's tough, you know, <laughs> especially with the summer coming on and us getting busier down at the shop and, and, uh, yeah, I want to get out more. Yeah. I don't want to be stuck inside too much. So, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow on uh, day 21. And uh, have a good week and uh, good day.